One day, I was hiking through a sharp cleft in the woods when I met a robot walking towards me up the sunken green lane. I say the robot walked towards me, but that is technically incorrect. It was more that he slid on something between skis and metal feet. He bumped slightly over the exposed roots of beech trees, but took it in his stride and never appeared in danger of falling until he was a foot from my face. He said nothing from his wide oblong mouth, so I took it upon myself to be the one to begin the conversation. Where are you from, I asked. The future, said the robot. Which part, I asked. A very distant part. You really don't need to worry about that. We've worked a lot of stuff out. Would you like to see it? See what? The future. I concluded so when the robot slid open the metal plate in his chest cavity and invited me to step inside I did so with little hesitation there was some clanking rusty sounds like gears grinding sounds far more clanking and rusty than I would have imagined might emerge from a robot devised in the very distant future as opposed to merely the future then I felt a sensation that reminded me of the time I crossed the channel from Dover to France on the hovercraft that it was all very silent silent in a blank and more bottomless way than even the woods when I walked in them at 3am searching for something I could not name and while I'd been dimly aware of metal in front of me before now it was too dark to see anything at all I reached to touch the back of the robot's chest cavity but I could feel nothing. I'm still in this deep, silent blackness. I cannot feel anything of myself, but I'm still having these thoughts and recording them for posterity. I do not know where the robot has gone.